Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Christmas story. My name is Don. I am married to Daniela and we have three children, two sons and a daughter, aged five, nine and twelve. We live in London. I work as a system analyst and Daniela works as a teacher. It is the 1st of December, which means it's Christmas time. All the department stores, hypermarkets and shops are preparing for it. Lots of adverts on TV, beautiful decorations and lovely bright lights in the streets everywhere. Traditionally, as Christmas approaches, we send Christmas cards to family and friends, which is a time and effort consuming task. But now, thanks to the social media apps like WhatsApp, Facebook and Twitter, one can send many seasons greetings cards with little efforts. Christmas is a family gathering occasion, so we are expecting my parents, my brother and his fiancée, and my sister and my parents-in-law. All will be coming and staying in our house. We have four bedrooms and a converted attic and a couple of sofas in the living room, so I think we can manage to accommodate everyone. Two weeks before Christmas, most companies and firms will organize Christmas parties for their employees. Buffets of light snacks and beverages. Everyone will be eating, drinking, dancing. Some parties might have raffle tickets and tombola. We used to buy a real Christmas tree, but now we use a plastic one. The children and I spent the morning decorating it with ornaments, baubles with lots of bright colors, bells, stars, fairy, flickering lights, candy cane, Santa Claus effigies, sleigh, reindeer, elf, gingerbread man and on the mantel we put some stockings. I also hung a wreath of flowers decorated with holly and ivy on the front door. The holly and ivy are symbols of Jesus and the Virgin Mary. I took Daniela and the children to central London to watch the switching on of Christmas lights outside Hamley's, the well-known toy store, by a famous celebrity. Hamley's was jam-packed with shoppers, toys for kids and adults. The countdown started and wow! What a magnificent scene! It was all over Oxford Street, Regent Street, Piccadilly, Lister Square, Oxford Street was full of shoppers. It has about 300 shops and department stores selling all sorts of clothes and goodies. Oxford Street also has lots of restaurants and pubs. Central London has lots of famous shops like Liberty, Harvey Nichols, Selfridge, Harrods, Virgin, Fortnum & Mason, Primark, Marks & Spencer, and many other well-known brands. 
Daniela and I bought lots of presents for all the family and had them gift wrapped. We ate a delicious meal at Steakhouse restaurant, then went home. The children were ecstatic. They enjoyed themselves so much. At home, we put all the presents under the Christmas tree and some sweets and candies in the stockings on the mantel. The following day, Daniela and I went to Asta, the hypermarket for shopping. The place was buzzing and full of shoppers listening to Christmas songs which created a lovely festive atmosphere like we wish you a merry christmas i am dreaming of a white christmas jingle bells jingle bells about a week before christmas we went to the children's school to watch a nativity play the children looked lovely dressed as the virgin mary and the three wise kings with baby Jesus. They sang songs like Silent Night and the school headmaster gave them all nice presents. The meteorological office issued a weather forecast that light snowflakes are expected on Christmas Eve. So it is going to be a white Christmas. In our street, a choir of singers using bells were singing Christmas carols. On Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, my brother and his fiancée arrived, and also my sister. We hugged and kissed each other. Then the children and their uncle and auntie went outside the house to build a snowman. About 9 p.m. we all got dressed and went to our local church. The priest there read some verses from the Holy Bible. Then we prayed and sang some hymns. Our youngest son Kevin, bless his cotton socks, still believes that Father Christmas will come down from the chimney and leave his presents in the stockings and under the Christmas tree. On Christmas Day, the 25th of December, early morning, the kids ran downstairs to open their gifts. Even the adults also got up and opened theirs. All of us were cheering while opening our presents. Computer game, mobile phone, scarves, gloves, sweaters, pullovers, hats, watch, laptop, books, a guitar, tennis racket, fishing tackle. We ate a light breakfast and watched Her Majesty's Queen's Christmas message on TV which talked about spreading the spirit of Christmas, of peace and love among all the nations of the world. Then we sat down to enjoy our Christmas dinner. The table spread looks lovely. We all started pulling Christmas crackers, laughing at the jokes in it and wearing plastic rings and paper crowns. As I was sitting at the head of the table, I started to carve the turkey. Everyone had vegetables like Brussels sprouts, carrots, cabbage, parsnips, green peas, Yorkshire pudding, turkey stuffing and gravy on his plate. My dad-in-law drank some port. The children drank fruit juice while the rest of us had red and white wine. The sweets were Christmas pudding and mince pies. My sister has a sweet tooth. so. 
She put some brandy on her Christmas pudding, set it alight, then added lots of clotted cream. Too fatty and high calories, I know, but that is how she likes it. My brother picked sprigs of mistletoe, raised it over his head, so all of us had to kiss him and tradition goes. It was a lovely Christmas time. Great to meet many family members and talk about sweet memories. On the 26th of December, which we call Boxing Day, we put many of our unwanted clothes and other items in boxes and donated them to charity. On New Year's Eve, the 31st of December, many Londoners like to celebrate it at Trafalgar Square, where they listen to Big Ben striking 12 o'clock. After that, everyone shouts Happy New Year and they exchange hugs and kisses, wishing each other a happy and prosperous year. Then, traditionally, they cross arms and sing the famous song, Old Lang Syne. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For all lang syne, my dear, for all lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for days of all lang syne. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everyone. I thank you, Jimmy.